YouTubers, welcome to BMW Programming and Encoding Channel on YouTube. Today we're working on a BMW F10 and we're going to connect via ESIS here. And um, we're going to connect via VIN, read all parameters. We have several target there, so we're going to choose one of them. Oh, the resolution on this computer is too small the resolution on this computer is very small let me see if I can make this bigger recommended oh that's the highest and then 125 shit this is too it's fucking small all right so let me see now I see I see I see the I step is it's had a number already yeah it showed up yeah yeah you see now it showed up now yeah. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be, okay? Oh, you good. You so good, man. Yeah, buddy. That's how it's supposed to be, man. I think you do it, the way you do is better, huh? You know what to do, huh? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I wish I know from I know you from the beginning. Fuck. I'm too late. That's it. It's okay. Pay whatever. Yeah. To, uh, If I know you before, I think my car is already done. I don't have to wait anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yes. How long ago since you purchased the car? When? Yeah. Oh, like more than four, almost five years ago already. Really? Yeah. It's it's sitting in my garage, so I just like it's my passion. You know, I like it. Yeah. So I just go work and get the money to pay little, 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 and then. Having my picture to go in my car and then my dad and my mom yell at me, what the fuck you doing? Four years already, your car still sitting in the garage? Just mm -hmm. waste your lots of money, they say. Yeah. I love this car, but I couldn't find the guy to do it. I don't want to take to the dealer. It cost me too much. I, I don't have that money, so I'd rather do it by myself. You know, I put yeah. the scan in. So, I saw every module is you know, the flooded water in there, so I changed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one day I changed everything and then it stopped running. But yeah, yeah. because I don't know how to program the module to mod to to module to the other, so that's why I said, oh, yeah, but to do that, I don't have the money to to do that. So I rather hold and take a little bit of time and end up find the right guy. And yeah. then finally, I got a guy on the on the YouTube, but he kind of like so weird. And then I, I looked at an audio video, I saw you, oh shit, this guy is fucking an expert, I didn't know. If I know him, like, fucking my car's running already. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> In yeah. In underground already. And until, the, finally, I give you a call until I saw you talk to uh, Jonathan or, or, or David. Uh -huh. Two of you guys. I saw that, oh, it's this guy from the car, like, F10. It mm -hmm. doesn't run, it doesn't start, and now it starts. Wow, mm -hmm. this guy is good. So I think my car is not like, like him. Mm -hmm. My car is stuck and everything is good. I don't have too much problem like him, but I think, okay, let me give this a car and I see what happens. I think it takes him a couple hours. So. But I didn't know that we need the, the, the icon. Yeah, if I, I, because I, I listened to the other guy say, if, if you have the decent, you don't need the, uh, the icon. All you have to do is the uh, load. And all, all, all I need to do is just I need a laptop and the Ethernet cable. That's it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what they. It. That's what they will always tell you. You know. Yeah. That's what they will say. But they are they are not experts in the field. They do not know why you should not depend upon the uh, the Ethernet cable. You know. Yeah. I, you I only can, can use that. it to do certain things. It's limited. They they, they use true they true they mostly use the Ethernet cable to, to to do encoding on. NBT, the ed unit, and then other mo other things, and it's done quickly. They think that you know we all always need it with this to be, you know. Right, right. So right. that is the reason why. Um, so because the icon it cost me like about three hundred something. I just, yeah, I check yeah. it online already. All right, this is the FRM. We just encoded it, okay? Okay. Yeah, we just encoded the FRM. So um, there goes green. We're gonna oh, pick three DCU. You just, uh, you just program the uh, gateway module? No, FRM, the footwell module, the module that controls oh. the doors and the, and the lighting on the car. Oh, that, okay. that was not encoded, that is one of the models that you replaced. Uh -huh. 
and this is the SZD. Well, the SZD have a coding file in it already. This red one just represent the update from the laptop that must overwrite the one in blue. Blue is the actual file written read from the module. Ah. Also, block. When the file is block, it shows that the eye level on the car and on the laptop is the same. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that the eye step shipment is the same. When it comes to these um, files that are called HWEL, H all of these are correct hardware um, variant. You know. So every time we try to target the um, program, and so we should target on the CAFB, like C CAFB file. Huh? Every time we try to program the file, so we target on the CAFB file, right? No, I have to teach it, bro. No, no, no. I, I know, I know. I, I'm, I'm just curious. As, as yeah. but, but if I want to learn the software, but I have to pay you to, 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 uh, to learn it. I know that. Yeah, yeah. I have to show it to you. Um, I have to show it. I have to teach it to you in a way by which you'll understand it. You have, I I, it has a perspective to it. It has a certain perspective to it, you know? Okay. Yeah, okay. don't worry. But um, look, Christy, after you've done this, yeah. I will set the money and I call you, hey, I pay you to learn the, the program. All right, man. Yes, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> This ICM right here, the integrated trusting management, it shows two green arrows beside the file. The, 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 the control module here, you see, you see the two green arrows? Uh -huh, it, yes. means, it means wrong other variant. All right, let me see now. Um, HWEL, they should be in black. They, they, yes. Yeah, they should not be in red. They should be in black. HWEL and HWAP, like this one here, HWAP and HWEL, they should be in black, you know? It should means, be black. So yeah. my, my is uh, red, right? Red yeah, your, yeah, yours is red because this red file here is determined to, to be written on the module. This file is, uh, this file right here that says 000D80, it's, it must be among this file right here. You see that? You see this yes. one here? All right, this one, no. The one in blue, no. The one that I clicked on, HWE, live one. This is the actual file that is on the module. It's belong to another car's vehicle order, you know? As you can okay. look at the ID, the ID is 0000E13. And when you look okay. at what the software determined, the software determined that this is the other ID that belongs to the right other variant for your car, the one that stopped with D80. You see that? Yeah, yeah, I guess it's D80. Yeah, yeah. Yes. The, one, the one in red is the right file for the right other variant. This one is from another car that has the file already on it. The file in blue meaning that it's already written to the module and read out as blue. You know, oh, okay. So this model here, it is to be. It's the same thing I showed you in e study. Remember, then I when I show you the control models that must be ah. exchanged in e study. You remember when I showed you that earlier on? Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. Look. So also, the ed unit. The ed unit is the navigation and the radio into one, and so on. It shows a uh, wrong order variant here. It shows wow. that where um. It shows that this file here, uh, HW. This is the actual file on the one, the blue one. See that? The blue one is actually, actually the, 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 the one in the, the head unit, right? Yeah, that is the actual file that is on the head unit. The one that says 0000DF7. DF7. Yeah, that is, that is, a, that is wrong order of variant. The one, the right file that must write into the right module is the one that says 1296. This one, 0001296. Okay. That is the correct file that must be written to the right order of variant. This blue okay. one is the is the current file that is on the order head unit, uh, um, the order of variant head unit that you bought from another car. It's the wrong hardware, right. you know, but um, I, I can't. the head unit, I bought it brand new from the, 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 the dealer like four years ago. You buy it brand new from the dealership, this head unit, really? Yes, but um, uh, I have the guy, he tried to program the uh, head unit, but he doesn't know how. That's why he messed up. He put the, 
uh, I don't know, like four years ago, mm-hmm. he programmed it, but he cannot activate the uh, head unit. So I don't know what software he put in because I don't, I have no idea. Yeah. So I bought it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Computer, yeah. So. Yeah, I'll try to get, uh, for, I think I have a source, I can get a source to um, activate the features inside of that unit. There's another, can you activate the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, uh, the ICM, I think? Yeah, the ICM, yeah, the, yeah, it's the wrong hardware version, we have to get the right hardware version. That one ain't gonna program, it's gonna fail the programming, you know? Oh. Alright, the TCB, this is the telecoms box, we're gonna write this coding file to it. The co- there's no coding file, as you can see there's no file that read out blue, but this one, the coding file, that's okay. one that, that, this one in red right here, this, this is the one that is determined for us. So we're going to click detect CAFD, and we're uh-huh. going to look at the eye level shipment, it's 13, oh, alright, so we say it's 16, oh, 3, 500, choose that one. Ah, oh, boy, TCB right here. We're going to click code. Alright, write in the coding file to that TCB module. That responsible for uh, telecommunication, Bluetooth, and f- on telephone, and the car, and so on. So we we'll just we we'll just see we're gonna write we're just writing a coding file. Let's just see if it be successful. Uh, I'm so regret I didn't know you. Okay. Huh? I'm so regret. I'm I'm regret that I didn't. Three fifty six right now. It's almost four o'clock right now. Yeah. Yeah, four o'clock already. Yeah, I know. So I said, okay, I don't know. This guy maybe he, he busy on uh, weekend or what? Unless he let me give him a call. All right, the VD is a vertical dynamics management. There, address seven to six. This one, okay, that one is okay. So, all right, there's no. All right, these red files re- represent updates. You know, that must overwrite the ones in blue. You know. What are the difference between blue and and and, and, and red? Blue, I told you already, but it, you wasn't paying attention. You know, when I talk, you're not paying attention. Blue is the actual file that is currently read out from the module that is written to the module. The red one is the latest um, eye level target that is on the laptop. Ref- reflected right here, that is called eye, eye step target. You see this right here that I'm clicking? Uh huh, that target. Yeah, the red I files, their latest version is of 2021 of March. Oh, this is new. That's new, right? Yeah, it's new. Yeah, those are the updates. The red ones are the updates. They they, oh, okay. they call them I I step target, okay? Okay. Or I oh, level okay. target. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what they call those files there. Um, I'm looking for any other control model must per program. We have several control model must be replaced. We have the ED unit and the ICM to be replaced. And. Uh, Okay, this K files here, it needs to be activated, the features inside of it, so currently, yeah, we have to pay somebody to activate that, that, the, the, the FSC code needs to activate the feature in it, this ICM has to be changed, it has to be replaced, alright, I'm going to try to get, already. huh, I said I, pre- I replaced the ICM already, yes, but it's the wrong hardware variant, the wrong one, yes, it's wrong hardware, it's not the correct hardware variant for your car's vehicle order, it's, you see, you can't buy any, any control model from the same type BMW F10 expect it to fit in your car. 
because the BMWs are made with different features and they, they are reflected in the control models that are the hardware that is made, you know, to reflect the features for the customer. So it's not all the control models that are called by the same name can be fitted to another car, you know. And that is why, you see these IDs right here, these IDs that are in black. When, when, look at HWEL, you see the reason why it is black because it's the right hardware variant for the car. You see once HWEL or HWAP is in red, it's wrong hardware variant and you will see two green arrows right beside the folder of the description name of the control module, you know? Okay. Yeah, so just pay attention to what I'm showing you, man. It's just that when I talk to people, sometimes they forget what I told them, you know? Um, no, yeah, it's yeah. not actually. Alright, also, look here, wait. The amplifier as well. You see, there's, there's two green arrows beside the amplifier. But this amplifier right here, it has it has the actual file on it, HWEL in blue, BE6, and the one determined is red. BE6 is the same one. So all I gotta do is just click other IDs from SVT actual. And then it, uh, this one here, up the, see now, all of them is black, you see that? Yes. Yeah, the amplifier um, do not need to be, the radio works, right? Yeah, the radio is work. Okay, but good. But the, 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 map, the, the, the map is not on. Yeah, it's, yes, because of the ed unit. The ed unit here, we have to make sure that we, um, we need to find out what, what kind happened? of ed unit inside the car here. I need to know if the ed unit professional, you know? Yeah, um, ICM up here now. To be, uh, so what are you gonna do with the ICM? Can you program it or? Yeah, I I'm gonna to, try. Uh, I am going to try. If it okay. fails, it fails. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm happy you try it work, but otherwise I don't want to change it. Fucking, it's, it's too hard. Yeah, I know it's too much enough. money, man. Yeah, I have to take the console out because it's too much. You have to take the the seat out and the console out mm. in order to change it. Alright, I'm going to try to go to expert mode and write a tar processing. Let me see if it would work for the ICM. I don't know. It's the wrong hardware variant, so. Cross my finger. Well, yeah, it could be very bad lucky you know, too. Oh, I know how to change this. I know how to change the ICM, but it's hard. It's fucking tight, like a yeah, lot of time. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. I know it's very hard, man. Alright, let me see if I can write a coding file to it, okay? Let me see if it would work, because it's, uh, <laughs> it might fail. It might come up with, oh, let us see if it, <laughs> I oh, don't come know. on, come on. Yeah, it's not something you can pray for, you know, it's just that it have to be the right hardware friend. Let us see, <sighs> it failed, it failed, it failed. <laughs> oh, no, it's, no, 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 don't it's tell me it failed. Yeah, yeah. The come I, on, Christy, come on, Christy. Yeah, the ICM failed. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's nothing we can, we can. I, no, there's oh, nothing I can do about it. Stuff. You have to have the right order of variant for the car. SVK right here. Once it says SVT, IST does not match expected control unit description model IDs for the ECU ID, ICM on address one C. We have to change uh -huh. the hardware. It won't, it won't flush it. You know, it won't. The, the same thing with Easter D. It won't flush it. You know, the order uh -huh. ID, the order IDs are definitely wrong. You know, so the order IDs have to be correct for the car vehicle order. You know. It won't flush. It won't flush the wrong hardware for the car. Oh really? Yeah, it won't flush the wrong hardware for the car. So what should we do now? Yeah, I'm gonna give you the part number, and then when you get money, you buy the um, you buy the right hardware variant. Okay, I'm gonna get the part number for you, but just get, let me let me um save this information here. Okay. I'm going to get the I'm gonna get the VIN number from the FA. 
I'm going to get the min number from the car's vehicle order. Can I buy the used one on the eBay? Yeah, you can buy a used uh, ICM and use it. Yeah, no big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can this buy one it. I just buy it from the guy who sold it on the online. He said it, this came out from the M6. It doesn't matter. No, the M6 and your F10 is a different vehicle order, okay? You have a F10 or F13, so it's the vehicle order is wrong. You understand? You can't, yes. you can't follow people who sell parts. They just want to get rid of the parts to get the fucking money, you know? You just can't buy shit from them. They don't understand nothing about how BMW set up their system, you know? So they want to send you, they want to sell you any part and, 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 and so on and so forth, you know? So you, you, you don't want to really waste time and buy shit from them, you know? Right, right. You don't want to follow them in doing certain, you don't want to buy in any model from anybody, you know what I mean? Yeah. Alright, the TCB, I write coding files with that, that one is successful along with the FRM and then this one now, okay, this one is okay, this one, BDC is okay, I do not, only these are updates on it, software flash all are updates and uh, I mean I can go back here and try to write a coding. Vertical dynamic management, let us see if it will work. In the meantime, I'm going to look at the FA.
all right the VDC uh, successfully uh, updated you looking yes I'm looking right now all right there it goes Oh, that's, that's we can also we can also right. update this one here. We can um TRSVC. I'm gonna update that. So when you vaccine, so you have to vaccine single one, right? Not all of them. No, one I do not. Yeah, right? all of them. You see, it does not really. It it, it, it it takes too long and then it's gonna be like when it when the log when the log is finished right there right there in the window uh -huh. if, if one of the control models fail to program it shows red it shows red as if for everything you know so when we do it one at a time we can tell which green bar or yellow bar or uh, blue bar comes up at the bottom when the transaction list is done process you know yeah, yeah we can tell uh, <clears throat> yeah so a lot of guys on the youtube show like when you flash it you can do like um all at the one time every everything at one time but some some of them say like you have to do one one by one just like you said so you know which one the red which one the green yes yes because when yeah whenever it is finished now we can tell if it's green just like that you see that yes you tell us when it's done so, successfully for one module but when you do everything one time when when it's only one bar comes up you know oh okay one motherfucking bar comes up for everything so you just kind of confuse the whole idea of um you know okay. you can't feel the whole freaking idea of, uh, And that model is TRSVT. All right. Um, we are going to uh, this one will be like. Uh, So we have um all right those are in block so those 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 models that are complete in block where their SWEs their software unity are in block you know, they do not need any more update for now you know all of the C model C model is working okay it's alright the coding file is written in it and this one and then the others that are in block these red one are the obvious so we don't have to see them I don't even um, do that. Um, the combi. Oh, combi! What the hell, combi? The combi is the cluster, man. The cluster. The cluster, yeah. You do not know what it's called, that? Yeah, the cluster. Yeah, I know the cluster, but um, yeah. I changed. I changed the cluster already. Yeah, that's what they call a cluster. The combi combination meter. That's what they call it. Yeah. So, um, is that, is that programmable? Or yes, it can be programmed, but um. This has to be programmed via DHCP modem with this module right here. Okay. DHCP modem is the internet modem that it changes the IP address from 169 to 192. You know, the network path has to be set the right way in order for certain control models to oh. be programmed successfully. Because the, they are on what they call Ethernet, you know. Oh. Their IP address over which the information is carried, the network path starts with 192, you know. So that has to be done there. Um, the IC must be replaced with wrong hardware variant, so uh, the head unit as well. I'm gonna try to get a friend to program this head unit um, to, to activate the features in it to, to so that the navigation works. That's gonna be that's gonna be a different money to do that, you know. The navigation, oh, yeah. the navigation and the KFOS, they require FSC code. Those those are a little bit expensive, so prepare for that. You know, work your money, save it, and those are I have to pay money to get. The, those features activated for you in the KFAS system and also in the LU unit, you know, so they are not cheap. So oh, yeah, I, 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 thought you, I thought you know how to program that too. No, oh, no, 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 no. It's not about programming. When, whenever the model is programmed, we have to write 
what you call activation oh. codes. The activation codes oh. enable the features in the module. BMW use it to protect the people who write the software for the module, you know? They pay oh, the right. money to those people. Oh, so that's how that is all that's how that work that one is worked. That's what they, oh. they they do that one. Okay, so all right, ECS is finished. I can shut this down now. So um, only the earbag module to be updated, and so on. I mean, earbag is okay. So yeah, yeah. Okay. So don't 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 don't, don't get to jump your boat thing. It's just it's just oh BMW designed your system. You know what I mean? You can't go around it. You know what I mean? It's just a one-way street. In certain models that deliver certain features, the people who write the software, they are software writers, they must get royalties. So what, that is what the money that we pay for the FSC goes back to them for, you know? It pays them royalties for the service of what they do. They write the features to uh, make the ed unit work, like navigation and other stuff, like you know roadside recognition and so on and so forth. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, so... Um, I'm going to run now Easter D and read out the car vehicle data. Okay. Alright, this one is hidden. That shit is hidden. Okay. I made the screen too fucking big. I guess I'll, I'll, I'll make it small again. Display settings. gonna read out the car now with this um so i have to buy a new um yeah uh yeah. IM, icm yes yeah yeah i'll give it a part number okay 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 yeah i'll give it a part number the part number i think i read out the part number before let me show it to you i think i did save it in this folder right here a measure oh. plan right here the measure plan measure I, plan yeah whenever it's the decalculate measure plan it um Whenever it's the decalculate a measure plan, it uh, it's it's it, it 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 if any hardware on the car is currently the wrong hardware, it will give you the order the correct order number for the module. The order number is a part number, you know, the correct part. Here they are, right here. You see them? Oh. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Take a picture of this with your phone right here. Take a picture of all of these right here that says action hardware actions right here. So. The correct order number for the ICM for your car is start with 6886191. That's the order number for that. And then okay. the, the amplifier is 6808523. And then the head unit, you know, that you buy the wrong head unit, you know? What's the unit? Is that huh? head unit? Yeah, 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 yeah. You buy the wrong head unit, you know? So. What would you want? So, uh, Auto, there, you need to change. Well, I'm gonna ask. Um, well, I'm gonna try to ask uh, one of my friends to see if he can. When, whenever you get the money to write the FSC code, you need to activate the map. It's gonna cost money to activate the features with FSC code, it and the KFAS. So you gotta prepare for that. You're not ready for that yet. You have to have the money for that. So you know that's not cheap. So. This is how much is it gonna be? You have to tell me. You have to let me know, and then we. We'll, so um. The first thing you want me to change the heck you um, the, uh, the the ICM only, right? Yeah, you can change the ICM for now on the amplifier if you want it. Well, if the radio is playing and the amplifier is turning up the bass and so on, they can leave the amplifier in the car, okay? But the ICM is important. You can you can replace it with the right other number right here, right? Uh, okay. Oh, that that's your part number, right? Yeah, that's the part number. Yeah. Okay. All right. So just only the ICM only the rest of it, like. Yeah. Look. Look. Look here. Right? These these models right here, the the, the Ramalis and the Ramir the Ramir, these are the seatbelt driver module, the seatbelt real back module. You know, these okay. uh, you can buy these. You can use the same numbers on order of the control model. You can buy them used, or you can buy them new from the dealership if you have the money to buy them. Okay? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't have money to buy that. Uh, <laughs> but the new one, fucking it expensive. All right, right, I understand. But the problem when I buy the used one. Can you program it or no? Yes, I can buy used ICM and you can buy used seatbelt module. Okay, you also okay. can buy a used ed unit, but make sure that the order number for the ed unit you're gonna purchase is the right one, you know. But but okay. just leave the ed unit for now because I know you need the navigation and stuff, but I'm gonna see if my friend can still activate it, you know, activate the features in it when you have the money to pay me to pay him. So I'm gonna, okay, okay. Gonna, so what if? What happens if you activate and then program the whole my car? How much cost? Still, you have to let me know, and uh, I have to repair. You know. What do you say? I said, what is the total when you 
activate the, the, the head unit and program my car. You know, because I don't want you to work for free, you know, because if I call you again, then program that for me again, and then... Yeah, I understand, man. Code it already, right? Yeah? So, when I call you again, do I need to buy the icon? Yes, you have to have an icon. Yes, you have to have the icon to to um to work with Easter D because you know that Isis can't do certain okay. things. You know, yeah, you have to have the icon that time. You have, I mean, you have, you have to be prepared, man. You have to have a lot of money to do shit now. You know, <laughs> you should have bought the icon in the first place. You know. Yeah, I understand that, but I know that how much for the total everything. Oh, the total, oh, so the total. Much, oh, you know, well, the icon. Let us go online right now. Look up one. Look, look, let us look up what one costs right now. Let us look at what. The, the icon it cost me like about I think with the software about three hundred something, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me let me look can, it up. Can, can, look. can can you show me the the icon? Yes, I'm gonna show it to you. Don't don't worry, I'm gonna show it to you. Let me, I'm just looking up the part number for the um these uh seatbelt model. Uh, there they are right there. So uh, part number. All right, I'll 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 look up the um the icon right now for you. Uh, There they are, pretty cheap, two hundred dollars. You can buy from this dude right here. But not the software not included. Yeah. So you have to buy with uh, the software, right? Or with the software? No, it doesn't matter. You already have the software in your laptop. I mean, they if they want, they want to send you a hard drive. It's their problem. It's their is their is their goodwill, you know. But um, it's just a goodwill, you know. If they want, okay. you know, they just send it out to the whole package because I guess they want people to buy the icon from them, so they just kind of trick them to buy their stuff by putting the software on an hard drive and let them buy it, you know. So that's how they, the Chinese get you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but you see the BMW icon like one with our software, two with the engineer version, like uh, what's the? No, 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 no. Engineering version mean they're referring to ESIS. So you don't need that. You check my no, 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 no. You check already have ESIS on the laptop, buddy. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, that's what you're gonna pay me for. That's what you're gonna pay me two sixty four, man. And the programming job that I just did. Yeah, you're gonna pay me for that. That's that just buy the icon for two hundred right here. Either you buy from one of these guys right here. Buy the cheapest one if you can find it, or buy two thirty eight, two fifty six, or you can buy two seventeen. You see, we just buy one of these. These are called the icon A two. This is what you need. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, the sub, uh, I mean the seat module, it's not like the seat belt, huh? The one you saw me, it's not the seat belt. That's the module. Oh, you want to see the seat belt module? Okay, these are what they look oh, like here. Um, no, 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 no. No, no. no not, that, that's not the one. The, I think the, seat, uh, the module underneath of the seat, right? Oh, the seat module? Yeah, you said, I said like, uh, which one? No, 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 no. The, the, the seat module is under the seat, but you're going to need the seat belt real back control module. That's what I'm looking up here, you know? Okay. Seat belt. Um, I don't know why BMW wanna control. I don't mean what they could have used the FRM for that. You know what I mean? The footwell model could be used to read about the seat belt, um, whatever. But I'm trying to put the part number in here. For that, I'm trying to use Google to, to zero in on the model here, but I just can't friggin well. Uh, Oh man, I tell you. Not right, but it's okay. I can't find yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, re just remember the part number. Remember the part number. Let you take a yeah, picture. Yeah, I took of. a picture. I, I took a picture already. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me clear. Let me clear this again, uh, Christy. Yeah. The only two part in it is like ICM. Yeah. And the one that's like um, ninety three forty one. Yeah. Right. I need to replace. You need, yeah. I mean, you already have an end unit in the car. We just need to activate the um, the features inside of it. Okay, but nevertheless, you can buy the ICM and you can buy the seat belt, um, the seat belt module. You know. Okay. You can so buy these three, the these three of them. One, two, three. Okay, two of them. Yeah. So only three of them. Okay, that's fine. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. Okay. I buy that, and then I have to buy the icon, and then uh, I come up with like. Four hundred dollar more to pay for the guy to activate the uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The, uh, the head unit, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. All right. So today we got to pay you two hundred fifty. Yeah. Okay. By what? 
Oh, you can pay me via you can pay me via Zelle. Do you, do you sign up for Zelle? Uh, I think I think I do. What's your number? Oh, my number. You can use my phone number. My phone number is uh seven eight six. Yeah, the, the the number I call you. What is what is your uh your your app? I mean, what is your name? My name is Chris Williams on on the um. Huh? Your name is Kiss? Alright, you delete for all codes here, so roughly. Delete for all codes here. Okay. Hello, you're doing it? Okay. Oh, okay. Um, Yes, and but remember, so remember what I'm saying to you. Listen, make sure that the part number it matches. Yes, okay, sir. remember that you yeah. do not buy it if the part number are not the same. Yes, sir. Yes. I have. I took a picture already. Okay. Well, I already took a picture. Okay. Okay. And then the next time I call you, I have to say four hundred dollar to activate the uh, oh sh the uh, head unit, right? Yeah, the features in the head unit. Yes, sir. That's very correct. Very correct. Is that the head unit come with the uh, too, right? No, the KFOS is a different control module. It works with the U it works with the head unit and it also works with the cluster. It put information on the, the combi and it also put information on the central information display, but it puts it through the head unit. It does work. You just need to activate the features in it, that's all. And um and uh, the head unit it, the head unit the, the head unit has BMW apps and it has uh, navigation and so on and so forth. So th th that is the reason why they make the FSC code so that you know the royalty can be paid back to the people who write the software for these features to work on the car. You know. Okay. So the only way can you give me a discount for that pocket so tight? Huh? Four hundred dollar for the head unit. Oh my God. No 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 no. Four hundred dollars to activate the features in the head unit on the KFAS. You already have the head unit on the KFAS. You're not gonna buy another one. I'm gonna try to get my 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 friend to activate the features in both control modules. The FSC code has to be written to both modules. Okay. You know? okay, okay, okay. So the next time I call you have to come up with four hundred dollars and you change all the module and the icon and yeah, so I can check the link bus for you. No, yeah, I'm pulling up the test plan for it. So right now we are looking at the wire diagram here. So we go click on wire diagram, then we uh -huh. maximize all that on the screen, and then um, we go click on zoom in to zoom in on the wire diagram. All right, we're gonna check out the lane bus here. We're gonna identify the module. This model would be uh, it says interface signal. I don't know which module this belongs to. Let me see. It's a bunch of modules right here. I, I, let me. I'll find it. Okay. Just let, 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 let me. Let me. Let me find it. Integrated trust and management. I need to find. I remember. I remember you have a video on the YouTube about the um the the, the Lindbergh the, the headlight unit and yeah. the headlight. Yes. You took it out and tried the the, the Lindbergh. Yeah. Yes, I remember oh, that video. You? Yes, I remember that video. Yeah. Yeah, I know you're an expert about Lindbergh. So why I'm waiting for the ICOM and the park. So you want me to pick some like. Can you identify where the Lindbergh at? Yes, I'm looking for it on the wire diagram. Yeah, it should be either one Lindbergh there or two. Oh, here's one right here. Here's two of them, one here. The ah. Alternator, Lin. This one goes, to, okay, sorry, maybe maybe it's not those, you know, maybe it's another one. Wait, let me let me look, because there's Lin. Wait, wait, see the letter L. I need to find out which control model is coming from, you know, I just can't tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you cannot tell. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find which control model. So diagnose on the local interconnect. 
Lin means local interconnect network bus. So it can be a short circuit. It says right here, possible fault cause is a short circuit on the B plus wire. There's probably a red wire that is open or broken, you know. And we need to make it connect back again, you know. It's a short circuit to ground the lead bus wire, meaning that either the positive wire is broken or, or, or the ground wire is broken. That's all we need to find. But we need to find out which control model it connects to, you know. Right, right, right. That's why I, you can can you probably pull me so from there I can take yes. it out and then identify it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can find it for you. I can find it. No problem. Hey, thanks for your help, uh, Christy. Yeah, man. Every time, man. Oh, I know. I'll talk I fucking. I would. I I told you already. I would. I talk to you fucking sooner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so my cousin. All right, I'm gonna try to find which one of the models that this piece of crap is giving problem. Um, I'm just tracking out the wire diagram. I'm looking for a lean, L I N lean. Just to be only one there, you know, or two of them. I'm gonna track it and I'm gonna find it. The wire diagram. Oh, let me save a copy of this wire diagram so I can pull it up inside of um the um, the PDF document. for lean bus all right let me see now uh let me go back again i'm gonna, I'm gonna try and go back here oh we have two lean we have one here that says m this is signal lean bus that is one there uh, and, and another one m yeah fuck, sure yeah and this is one it's two of them right here we have one blue yeah. one is full blue color blue and another one is one violet. Oh, not another one is like um, purple. Yeah, I saw them. I saw them. Yeah, I saw them right here. This one is full blue, all full blue. You see them? So the blue is mean okay, right? No, we need to find which one is broken. The wires pull either the wires pulled back from the connectors or they are broken. Uh, we need to okay. find out if it's coming from the DME. This one right here is the DME. I, 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 this one is the DME right here. This is the DME Digital Motor Electronics. Um, we need to find out if the lean bus. If the, if we want to find out if that is a control model that has a problem. You know what I mean? But this is the only one that came up. Oh, sorry, we have several different. But the way the wire diagram is displayed here, we cannot see the lean bus on any other of the of the models. You see, you see what I'm saying? We are looking for a lean bus all over. We just can't send more. It's maybe it's, it's the one that we see before, you know. So let me go back. Um, I'm gonna go back here at the top. I think at the end. All right, the only lean bus here is the one. Oh, here's one here. Here's one. I just saw one. This one, cool and pump charge here. It could be this one. I don't know. This one is blue wire with white stripe. That is one of the lean, and there's another lean right here. The same wire, okay. and this one is coming from the, the. These are coming from the DME, you know. Uh huh. All right. Oh, that's on the DME. Yeah, DME. Yeah, this one is coming from the DME. Oh, oh, yeah. You have two DME in the car. You have DME one and DME two, you know. Yeah, I have two DME. Yeah. DME so one, we have DME to track two. down and find out which one of them. We'll find out which one of the lane wires is, 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 is at fault here. It's a, it's a nice look at tr troubleshooting, you know. You see how many I have here? One, two, three, four of them. You see them? And then the other one up yes, top is five. Them, yeah. Roughly five yes. or six of them. So. But how come the other one is like purple? The color purple. They on and the, the rest of it like. Oh, because that one oh. goes directly to the alternator, you know. Oh. Yeah, that one goes directly to the alternator. So they give that one a different wire color code, you know. Yeah, and the others that are coming off of one wire, the others that are in full blue, they are coming off of one wire on pin 12 on the DME connector A264 1B. So they just make a branch or a splicing to the other control model, such as the coolant pump and the radiator shutter drive unit and the intelligent battery. See how the splicing setup? It's the same wiring. You know, but they, they splice they splicing radiator and coolant pump into the main one. Yeah. So now we don't know which one is uh yeah we, messed up. Yeah, we don't know which one messed up. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a trial here. That's a <laughs> oh, yeah, fuck. that's that's a, that's a trial here, man. That, that um 
let, 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 let me let me go over here. I, I, I thought you can find exactly what happened to that. So. Don't worry, man. We can find it, man. Don't worry about it, man. We, 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 I, there are other means to find it. It's, it's not running a test on it, you know? Yeah. It's running a test to find out which control model is at the fault. It's at fault, okay? Okay. Yeah, say so the right there, engine control unit. So it's a DME. It's coming from the DME. You see that? Engine control unit, lane bus function check. You see? So Where's that? Look over the left side that says procedure. The engine control unit lin bus function check. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's coming from the computer, the yeah. one of the computers. It's coming from DME one or DME two. Oh okay. So they're checking right now? Yes, checking, yes, running a check. We can't do nothing, have to wait. You can okay. see the hourglass at the bottom. You see that running and turning over? Yeah, 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 yes. Yeah, we have to wait. We can't do nothing, we have to wait. I have to wait, okay. Yeah. I had the problem. I have a chicken engine on, and I'm like, I cannot pass more check. Fuck it. Yeah. I know you can't pass a smug check, man, but just wait. Just be patient. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. Fuck it. I told you already. I wish I know it before so I don't have to waste my money. I'd rather give the money to an expert. Yeah. So I, can. Mm -hmm. I learned my lesson, you know? I mm -hmm. learned my lesson. Uh, so, uh, I, you might, I, you know, I work hard. Yeah. Every paycheck I just fucking and put in this car and I fucking, yeah. I want to have a part. It cost me too much. It says right here the message changes on the screen. Let me go back to um, full screen. Wait a minute. So if I, can I check by myself? Yes, you can check by yourself, but you have to know what you're doing, you know? Okay, okay. <laughs> you can't make a mistake in doing it, because you don't want a second fault to develop on the car, you know? You have to know what you're doing. Read right there that says for this individual and this connect the lane bus connector, but you have to do it probably, you can't do it now. Okay, you said like two second fault, it's about DME 1 or DME 2? Yes, it's DME 1 and DME 2, but I have to make sure which one of the DMEs, you know? <laughs> I have to make sure. Let me look. Let me click. I'm clicking on the DME hyperlink here. Let me see if it says DME 1, DME 2. No, there's nothing here that tells us which one of the DMEs. Um, yeah, can you check it for me? Because yeah. I know maybe sometime, some, some, sometime that I, um, I, uh, I took out the DME and the wiring maybe fucked up in there, maybe. Okay. All right, here's the pin assignments here for this connector, pin assignments for A462B. You just can't tell, let me let me save this connector, let me save this one, A462B. Uh. Let's see, I just can't tell which, if, if, if which, uh, I just don't know, uh, where that are. just can't tell if it's um or let me call it we call it dme on dme a46 asterisk 2b connector oh shit you can't be safe okay we can't have this fucking thing there yeah all right um let me check buddy because i just want to make sure that our actually 463 b so let me go back here let me zoom in a46 a4 a4 3 b this one is on the dme yep it has low it has can low on that one and can high all right let me see i just can't tell all right a forty six two b let me go back here a forty six two b a forty six the dme of a forty six two b a forty six 
Alright, there it goes. Alright. So we have yeah, we have we have A four yeah we have A two sixty four one B and A two four six two B. So yeah, those are two different connectors that is on the um on the DME. But you can't tell if it's DME one or DME two. You just don't know. You know, kind of. They're not actually making it clear here. Sometimes I wonder if the people who set up the BMW software man make a fucking mistake here. You just can't tell which one. I'm looking for a legend that can tell me which one of the DMEs. You know. DME 1, DME 2, you just can't tell shit. And this is the Y diagram that you pull up for it. Um, it doesn't say component. I'm just looking, I'm looking, I'm looking for something that can tell me. Oh, I identify the DME as DME 1, DME 2. Just can't. Um, Alright, this one is DME um, functional description. Just can't tell. Just can't tell, man. Fucking can't tell. You know, it's just hard to tell which one. Which one, which one, which one we should check, you know? Very much hard. It, it might be the wire is loosening or what? Yes, it could be the wire loosening. It could be that it pulled back from the connector. Or it can be that the wire is cut open or something. You know, we need to check it physically, you know? And so on. And the best time to check it is when the car is cold, you know what I mean? Yeah. When you do not have to get the heat radiating from the engine in your face and in your chest, you know what I mean? So, uh... Yeah, so, uh... Oh! Here they are, said right here, DME, you see, DME2. DME2. It's a bus user on Flexray, PT, Canon Cable. So this one, the DME control unit, the master control unit, probably, this is DME1, lane bus. You see the lane bus? The lane bus, so it should be DME1. Yeah, it should be on DME1, because DME2, they tell you which bus it communicates on. You see that? Uh-huh. You said the DME slaves control, it's a DME control, the DME2 control unit, DME slaves control is a bus user on the Flexray, PT, Canon and Cables. It's kind of a slave, but DME1 is the master control unit. You see that right here? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so, so the one is the master is the one that, where the lane bus is on right now, you know? So okay. it's, to, it's to find the location of it now, you know? Okay. Yeah, so we go so back here and we, click. We, can't, we uh, concentrate on the, the DME1. Yeah, they, this is where it's located. Look, you see? It's on the left side of the car. In front, in front of the car, it's on the left side of it. Inside. Left. So no, 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 no. It's on the top of the engine. Over to the left side. From okay. The, the inside, right? Sir, I did on not say inside. Side. I said outside. 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 It's, on the it's outside under the hood. Okay. It will be installed on top of the engine. You have yeah, to remove. I, I know yeah, I know where's the DME at, but if you if you stand it in the front of the car, so it should be on the passenger side. No, it should be on the driver's side. Look at the diagram up to the top right there in the picture. Look where the arrow is pointing. It will be to the left when you're in front of the car. It will be to the left. You see that? I couldn't recognize it. Look at the oh, picture. Exactly. Look at this picture here. Do you see the mouse cursor moving? Okay, okay. Look at the picture. So There's a picture in the picture. Look here at the top right of the screen, man. Look at the picture right here. Right, I saw it. I saw it. Do you see the black arrow? The, yeah, I see the black arrow. So yes, it's, yes, you, yes. It is pointing to the left side of the, the car when side. you stand up in front of the car. So it should be on the passenger side. Am I right? 
Yeah, you, be on the passenger you, side. Well, look, yeah. you check it for check it for yourself. Open the hood and look for yourself. Yeah, I can I can tell I can tell if I stand in the, in the front, it should be on the passenger side. That's it's a master. That's master, D me. And the, the one on the driver side is the slave. Okay. okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay, because I can see the the coolant coolant thing. Yeah. In the front. Yeah. Yeah, all, right, so, all right, all right, okay. all right, all right, all right, all right, no problem, man. All right, so, so we're finished today, right? So the connector only, right? Yes, sir. You have to look at the connector. I'll make sure you look on the, look, get a flashlight and make sure you look at the connector. If the say the connector numbers are there, a six two, a a two six four one b and a uh what a a uh, sorry, yeah, you're gonna look at uh. Uh, it's a a four six two b, right? Yes, yes, yes. That's connector. You gotta make sure that you you get a flashlight. and make sure that those numbers are stamped on before you remove it. Okay. 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 So. Uh, hey, no listen. Problem. Listen. Yes. Don't do it as yet, bro. Just don't do it. Don't do it as yet. Okay. Just wait. We have to do it another day. We can't do it yet because I don't want you to be making a mistake when I'm not guiding you to do it just don't do it yet i have to go somewhere now i have to leave and go to the bike shop before it close okay 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 all right christy all yeah. right i will call you next time when i have everything thanks okay. for the help today man okay man no big deal man uh, okay thank you very much all right yeah, take bye -bye. care Avu. no big deal man okay i uh, will give you a comment on the youtube the very good thumb up man all right take care buddy okay all right thank you buddy all, all right, right talk to you later yeah okay okay bye bye uh-huh Okay, YouTubers. All right, we finished working on this BMW F10 for now and so on. So, thank you for viewing my BMW programming and encoding channel on YouTube. Remember to subscribe. I am out. Boom.